The news now, Sabina Matos in the spotlight on Smith Hill today. Yeah, there's a confirmation hearing for the nominee to be Rhode Island's next lieutenant governor. It will get underway later this afternoon. Kayla Fish is joining us live in Providence this morning with a preview. Hey, good morning. The confirmation hearing for Sabina Matos as the next lieutenant governor for the state of Rhode Island is scheduled for 3 p.m. today. Now, if confirmed, Matos would become the first person of color and second woman to hold that role. Governor Dan McKee officially nominated Matos as his pick to su succeed him rather last week. The Senate Judiciary Committee will be conducting today's hearing. A spokesperson for the Senate said they hope to fill the vacancy quickly since they have a scheduled recess beginning April 19th. During her nomination announcement, Mato said if confirmed, she'll work tirelessly for Rhode Islanders. As the first Afro-Latina woman nominated to this post, I'm grateful to the governor's commitment to diversity and inclusion. I look forward to working with him to further that vision for all Rhode Islanders upon my confirmation. Now, Matos is currently the president of the Providence City Council. If confirmed, she would then have to resign from that role and a special election would be held to fill her ward seat. Again, that confirmation hearing taking place today at 3 p.m. You can follow the latest on WPRI.com and 12 News. Live in Providence this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. Turning more local coverage this morning, Sabina Matos' confirmation hearing for the role of Rhode Island's next lieutenant governor takes place this afternoon. That's right. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish live in Providence this morning with a look at her nomination and her plans moving forward. Hey, good morning, guys. When Governor Dan McKee officially nominated Sabina Matos to be his second in command, he said she'd be a true partner in governing from day one. Both McKee and Matos have experience governing at the local level, which they say will help bring practical leadership to the state. She was born in the Dominican Republic and moved to the U.S. in 1994. Matos was first elected to the city council in 2010 and in 2019 became the first Latina elected as council president. While well, some have suggested choosing Matos could help McKee as he seeks to win the Democratic nomination for governor next year, McKee said it's not about a political agenda, but rather the work. If confirmed, Matos says her top priorities include affordable housing, helping small business, and battling the pandemic. I share the governor commitment to getting as many Rhode Islanders vaccinated as quickly as possible. And as the governor has said, we must continue to step up our effort and to make sure vaccines are reaching our communities of color. Again, as we mentioned earlier this morning, that hearing is set to take place at 3 p.m. today. We'll be covering the latest right here on 12 News as well as WPRI.com. Reporting live in Providence this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.